Hey everybody, we thought we'd just do a short video. We're on a midterm break with our students, so we have time to shoot a little bit, sitting in the backyard. I'm doing some jobs. Leslie just got back from the, uh, where, where did you get back from? Angers. Angers, where you yeah. went to? I went to uh, a nursery to look for some plants. Uh, I went to Centricor, which is like a, I don't know, house store, I guess. Uh, it was good. And check out those, what I call gumdrop trees. Yeah. Don't they look good? Yeah, we did a start. Now we thought we might take a look at this little forest. I call this uh, the Jedi tree or the Sith tree because apparently it almost killed somebody one time with the branch falling down. Big, huge cedars of Lebanon. And this is, um, I'll try to do a wide shot here uh, from the house maybe. You can get a look at this whole area. What are we doing with this, Bess? It's all grown over. It is. Let's walk well, through it so we get out of the wind. Okay, great. Make some better We're audio. We're going to clean it out. First of all, like just check out how big you're gonna have to talk really loud honey check out how big the trunks are especially that yeah one. and then look at these this is a root of ivy my friends yeah we cut look that how, one off already. look how big that is that, that one has a huge one going up in i know and this is what strangles the trees i thought i got all this one see if i can walk through here oh, geez. <laughs> okay. i thought i got all of it and then i saw i noticed this big camouflage one right in the middle there and, oh, no. and you can look up and you can see yeah, yeah. a significant amount of ivy growing that, off it. I don't even think that's ivy. Look, look at the leaf. No, I don't know what that is either. It looks it's different. It's like a different kind of tree. This is a very big tree. Leslie, you want to stand in front of it for yeah. scale? Yeah. So here she stands. Yeah, so it's a very big tree. Branches that are significantly bigger than Leslie. In fact, this is fun. I saw one that fell down. Boy, I hope this wind is not going to wreck your guys' sound. I saw a branch lying over here. I'm like, oh, a tree fell over? And no, I didn't see that. it's a branch. And do you know where it came from? Oh, we might have cut it off. Mm, this one, no, look, oh, it's, no, it look. Mm, this is that tree, there. It's way up there. Oh, can you even see it? You can't. Here, let's walk around. So it continues to drop branches then. Yeah, it certainly does. Okay, if you look hard, it way up there. Pruned, to be honest. I don't know how it must have gone all the way over here. So it must have been a huge wind. Well, they did say there was one. Yeah. So what are we doing, Bess? What are we doing in here? Are we going to take out some of these little guys? Like, look at this little tree here that's uh, grown into oh, the big yeah. one. Yeah. What, what's coming out? So originally, I think that was probably like like our little gumdrop trees. It was probably just a small one. Yeah. But now everything's very overgrown and... Yeah, I hate to take this guy out, but I think he has to. Because look again, look how big this the trunk on him is. Once we get things cleaned out, we'll really be able to get an idea of of how, like, look. Again, and Leslie's standing in front of it, so if she's <laughs> off to the side, it's even bigger. You can't even get... Like, Massive trees, yeah. Really big. I measured one, one the circumference of one on the other side of the lot was 29 feet. Yeah, they're great. And this one, I think, is more like 21, the one, the biggest one here. So what about this guy, this mangled guys? Yeah, yeah that guy's stay. So this is another one of those same little huge gumdrop tree. guys. So they yeah. had them interspersed amongst the big trees. Yeah. This guy, I don't know what he was. Yeah, he, awfully like, big. He looks like a sucker that has kept growing. And this one and looks look. like, the cedar looks like it cut off halfway. Like it looks like it just stopped. It's huge base. Oh, I think, and then, I think another tree is growing on top of it. No, that's for sure. But there's also, like if you see this branch over here though, like the branch is alive and growing. See that big, it's yeah. your classic cedar of Lebanon. But yeah, look at those big suckers that are fact. Look at, it's look at this. It's another whole tree that's leached onto it. Now I cut this one just by way of scale, you know. So I cut that, but there's another part coming up and I think it's maybe here and somewhere else. I gotta just go and get all of them because there's stuff that's still growing. Yeah, it's crazy. We're just going to clean it up. I just want a nice little shady place. It'll be awesome. Yeah. But it's a beautiful area. Oh, we have palm trees over there. We do. Let's go show them the palm trees. Yeah, sure. The palm trees look like the ivy's coming up and killing them too, so. Oh, I don't doubt it. I haven't even got over here at all. This will be, I know, there's so many areas of the yard that there's just endless work, but we're hoping to, I'm hoping to get over this area this summer because I'd love to clean it up. Oh, maybe Canada should clean him up soon. Yeah, one of our grad assistants. But it wouldn't take long and it would be very fulfilling. Just pulling off all the dead stuff and yeah. i think he'd come back nicely actually yeah it's hard to say so of course our neighbor's stuff is right over here too so while we want to clear it out it's kind of nice to have a little privacy yeah well cleaning that will make it difference. what else is coming out so this tree oh, what about this one too there's two in here and look they're just oh. completely intertwined like it's like you go in here i wish they'd planted them farther apart it's a shame they planted them so close you can just see them fighting oh, all the way up a shame. so i guess this one for sure has to go 
That's a big, oh, beautiful tree, hole. but there's a significant dif oh, difficulty my. there. That's uh, trouble. Yeah, it is trouble. We don't know much about trees, but... It can't be good. We know enough. So you got really close trees planted mm -hmm. in here. I don't know. One or both of them has to go. Then you've got one of these stands that's sort of overgrown. Okay, clearly we don't want any of that. Okay, so it's all coming out? Yeah. Like when you say all. All of this guy. All him. the mess. Him. This tree. Yeah. It's that same... It's that same... Um, kind of suckery stuff. Brush. Uh, like hedge stuff that we have in front of the house. Yeah. That's oh, is him. that what it is? Uh -huh. Wow. It's just very overgrown and it's yeah. just become this wild. Has it killed that tree in the middle or is there life on that tree? Let's go take a look. I'm trying to keep yeah. the camera steady here. I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, there's leaves up there. I'm not sure it's worth it saving. Either, yeah, it's but... small. And there's stuff growing up it too, it looks like. So that could be. And what about over here? What about these guys? Yeah, again, it's a clump. It's a clump, and you don't, you're don't you not a fan of the clumps. No, not really. So either does it all go, or? Well, it all depends on what the tree on the other side yeah, looks like. Yeah, we'll have to go take so. a look at that. And here's a bit of a mess over here, too. Yeah. So lots of wood for fires. Look at, look at, look at, look at the, there's, so the ivy's growing up, those two little skinny guys. They're not even connected to, they just run independently. They hang on it, but they kind of, they don't even wind in. That's bizarre. Crazy. Easy fix. That is crazy. Well, lots to do. Lots of work, and uh, this will be a fun little forest. And once you cut it out a little bit, uh -oh. oh, you got the beautiful, got a beautiful look at the house over here. Well, it's a beautiful day, and I got lots of work. But how do you say no to a little face like this? Okay, let's go. Okay, here we go. We got the ball. Try to throw it a little bit longer. He definitely enjoys living here. Honestly, we can play this game inside. We have about 110, 120 feet. <laughs> 120 feet of inside the house. Okay, drop it. Let's go fetch. So one of our challenges is always getting bigly not to follow the car to the yard. So we'll see how Leslie does. Good luck, Bess. It's one of the best parts of spring definitely the nursery with all the flowers. So I thought I'd take you on a little tour just of the nursery that I was popping into that afternoon. So as you can see, lots of similar flowers to what we see at home. The ranunculus, a lot of the primroses like we have in Oregon, um, but they put them in a bunch of different containers that you can buy, but aren't they beautiful? They were quite the specimens this year. Um, I can't plant any of those yet here because we're just not here long enough. However, I did have my eye out for a few things, and petunias, because we always need petunias in life. But lots of bedding plants, lots of basket stuffers, and look at this rhubarb. This is how they're selling it. Isn't that cool? And then they have lots of seedlings. They like a lot of vegetable starts. So there's a lot of that. Again, I wish I had a bed for all these things, but one day we shall. Meanwhile, we just get to look at them and have fun seeing all the new varieties and all the things that we don't have in North America. Sometimes you can see it's nice and easy, and then you get to the big ones. How do you get up there? I don't know. I'm leaning a big, huge ladder on it. All right, so it's going good. It's going with the trimming. Until we did this. Ha! Ah, classic. Classic when you're using a wired trimmer. I tried so hard to avoid it, but that's okay. We'll, uh, we'll get inside and fix it up. Then we'll get back to this Mohawk boy. You know, so repairing an extension cord is actually not that hard, especially when it's one of these ones that was already kind of put together. So you just unscrew the thing and you take the wires out and then I'm going to strip these wires and put them back into this, put it back together and voila, an extension cord, four feet shorter. Okay, here we go. We're all working today and uh, good man Tanner is up on the ladder. He's our grad assistant and I'm telling you, we're going to take four next year because it's been so awesome having him. And I think he's been having fun too, so it's uh, it's working out for everybody. He's up on the ladder cleaning out the gutters. It's been a couple of years those gutters have not been cleaned, all running over, so huge help. All right, starting out the morning off, and we had another breakdown. This car, uh, this guy, has been good, but he breaks down a lot. I guess we, we do drive it hard. So uh, it looks like we this is our fault, maybe. We left the key turned, and so the battery's dead. But it looks like it's a 12 volt, so we're just gonna go get some jumpers and get it going because the more it has to stay going 
And it's also time for the morning bakery run. Yeah. In other news, I did finish the hedges. The gum drops, as Leslie calls them. I uh, cut out one significantly that was in really bad shape. And you can see if you look closely, I don't know if you can see this on the computer screen, but there's a bit of brown towards the top. That's because I did cut them down. They're just getting so big. I, I tried to cut them fairly aggressively on the top just so we can keep reaching them. But uh, yeah, it's coming. All right, so time to get some jobs done. And uh, one of the ones I'm gonna do today is to replace the toilet in the downstairs bathroom. So I'm going down the bottom of the servant staircase. Here's a boiler on. Now again, we're gonna try to put a couple of rooms down here for uh, grad interns. And actually both those uh, radiators work, which is better than some of the other rooms. So, um, you know, these are gonna be nice. We'll get them painted. We'll get them painted and we'll get all the windows fixed up and we'll make them pleasant. Uh, but of course they need a bathroom. So I went and bought another toilet, same as all the other ones. And this is of course our favorite little a bathroom that is going to be quite delightful and it has the wonderful tile it's not so nice we're going to keep that the radiator does work we'll probably get it going the shower now works we had fabrice come and he got the hot water going so we got to put some uh, walls on it looks like they had some kind of <laughs> we call it a spider contraption but uh, some way of doing it and then of course there's this toilet now i'm taking it apart and uh of course the bolts are all so old that you can't even unscrew them, so I just banged them with a hammer. <laughs> we'll get it off. Kind of a gross job, but we'll get this thing out, and then we'll get the new toilet in, and then we'll get it hooked up. And also, the kitchen folk will be happy to have a uh, bathroom down here in case they need to go. Toilet not that old. Same idea. Uh, a lot of these ones in Europe shoot out to the side. A little bit messy, but it's going gonna, it's gonna to switch out real easy. So if you've installed a lot of toilets, you'll notice there's something missing. There's supposed to be a rubber gasket around the outside. So I'm going to have to get in here and take this off and buy another one so we can get a good seal. All right, looks like we got the right connections. Uh, we're going to still have to go to the store to get that rubber gasket. But we also got to, we have to put a shut off on this. Right now there's no shut off on this. So we're going to have to turn the water off. And I've turned one of the water switches off. We'll see if it's the right one. If this water keeps coming hard, I did not turn the right one. I think it's slowing down. You can kind of hear it. So the reason the water's still coming, of course, is because there's pipes all over this house and they're all draining, yeah. I think I got the right one, it's definitely coming off. I'll turn the warm on too. Actually, I don't need to turn the warm on because we're only gonna shut do the cold water here. So we'll let this all drain out. And we'll put a shut off on this and turn it back on. Yes, no leaks over there. And I've uh, turned the water back on. And this is interesting. The water was turned off for about, mm, I don't know, five minutes. And I turned it back on brown. Super weird. So I'm going to have to think through what's going on there. But apparently, as I drain the water out, some kind of rusty water is coming from somewhere. No idea what. All right, it went in great. It's uh, real sturdy and uh, all the connections went really well. Uh, it doesn't look so good right now because of course, you know, the, the door looks rough and the ground still looks rough, but well, it's uh, a good part of making this bathroom awesome and eventually it will all be beautiful, but for now it's at least functional. It's a good start. So in a flash, midterm break was over and the students returned. We started off by hearing what they were up to. This is our first selfie in Nantes, where Ethan looks like a giant. <laughs> because of the angle. It was <laughs> like that. Also, we all crashed. And then I was on my Man, they had so much fun and they learned lots of good lessons. Then, of course, we did our second bachelorette, dessert bachelorette for the birthday girl, Mads, uh, followed by a big banquet. And Leslie loves the banquet since she does such a nice job. Uh, the food was incredible. Uh, here I think I have a shot of the appetizers, two of the appetizers. Look at the fancy drinks too. 
super fun. Uh, we figure when you're living in a chateau, you may as well enjoy some of the beautiful things. Even our regular meals, though, are exciting. Like, we, we've learned a French tradition, the raclettes, uh, which is sort of a cook-your-own cheese, melt-your-own-cheese kind of food, and that was lots of fun. And a couple of our students even had a little competition to see who could do the best one. Maybe tell us in the comments who you think won. Was it Tanner or was it Sierra? I told them we'd give them a prize for the winner. Also, let's uh, finish off the video by hearing uh, some of the students read from the book of Ecclesiastes. Time to kill and a time to heal. A time to tear down and a time to build up. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to dance.